What's good peeps? Thanks as always for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. All right, so today, uh, Joe Gallagher sat down with Sky Sports News and discussed the offer that Frank Warren made for that showdown between Callum Smith and Billy Joe Saunders. Um, you know, even before we start the video, although um, I don't think it's a mega showdown in terms of how big it will be, I think it's a fucking great fight. I think it's a great fight. And if it were to be made, it will definitely be one of my fights that I'm looking forward to more than anything. It will jump into the top five, put it that way. I think it's a, it's a fantastic fight. Anyway, back to it. Joe Gallagher obviously rejected the offer. Um, he said the offer is too small for the recognized number one super middleweight in the world to cross over and go to another platform and fight on that platform. And that if Frank Warren and BT Sports are serious, they need to up the offer substantially. Um, it's a difficult one. Firstly, we don't know what the offer is, right? I mean, and I did say this on the q and I said, it's all well and good, Frank Warren saying that he's making offers to these people and these people are rejecting offers. But what are these offers? Obviously, we're not going to know what these offers are, but these offers have to be substantial in order for these fights to happen. And that's why I also said, I think in the same sentence, that I don't think Frank Warren can get Billy Joe Saunders these fights. I don't think so. Nothing in his track record is proven to me that he can get Billy Joe Saunders big fights at home. Not counting the David Lemieux and the Demetrius Andrade where he had to travel. I'm talking about at home. So anywhere basically in the UK, I will count that as at home on BT Sports. Can he deliver? And um, the answer right now is no, he can't. So look, it's all well and good sending offers for 50 quid and saying that people are rejecting offers to fight Billy Joe Saunders. But you've got to start making substantial offers to get some of these people across. And um, I just don't think he's able to do it. In saying all that though, I mean... I mean, what's Callum Smith worth? What, what's he worth? I mean, he's not a draw. He's not a, a household name. Um, I don't think, and look, this fight will be on pay-per-view. I don't think this fight does incredible numbers on pay-per-view. And that's not detracting away from the fact that I think it will be a great fight. I just don't think it will do amazing numbers. Like, I mean, will this fight do more pay-per-view buys than Chris Eubank Jr., James the Girl? What do you think? I don't think so. I think those two guys have a crossover appeal to some of the casuals. I don't know if Billy Joe or Callum Smith does. Callum Smith certainly doesn't. Billy Joe might, just because of the way he is. I think people do know him a bit more than Callum Smith. But I don't know if Callum Smith is worth what Joe Gallagher thinks he's worth. Joe Gallagher mentioned things like, you know, he's a world champion, he's the ring recognized number one super middleweight. I mean, that's all well and good and it sounds fantastic, but that doesn't necessarily equate to pay-per-view buyers and bums on seats. It doesn't, unfortunately. It should. That's how it should work in the real world, um, but it doesn't. And this thing about Callum Smith being the number one super middleweight in the world, where's this come from? Is it because of the Ring magazine belt? I mean, I, I don't know about him being the number one super middleweight in the world. I mean, it's definitely not fucking rubber stamped. I'll tell you that now. Is it because he won the World Boxing Super Series? Uh, no one entered that tournament. I'm not even being a cock, but no one entered that tournament. I mean, hence why there were people like fucking Jamie Cox in the tournament. Is that his name? Was it Jamie Cox? I mean, Gilberto Ramirez wasn't allowed to enter it. Uh, top rank wouldn't let him, um, whatever, Bob Aram, I think we know how he works. I think Benavidez was suspended for taking cocaine. Caleb Plant at the time wasn't allowed. Um, he went on to obviously win a world title. Um, Anthony Durrell, don't know where he was. He was. So a lot of the top 10 guys didn't enter that tournament. So all of a sudden, because he won it, um, he's the number one. Not sure. Not sure, people. But back to the fight. Um, fingers crossed it can get made. Um, I do wonder if... Eddie Hearn, who went to go and see Callum Smith today, might make a cheeky counter offer of a bit more money to try and get Billy Joe Saunders to fight on Sky Sports box office. I mean, I don't know. I mean, Frank, I don't think would accept it. He said that he would accept Billy Joe fighting on the zone. I saw an interview with IFL TV when he said that. Obviously, he was going to against Demetrius Andrade, but I don't think he will let him fight on a rival show, um, which does take the piss a bit. You're trying to get Callum Smith to fight on. BT Sports, but you won't let Billy Joe fight on Matram and Sky. I mean, if Eddie Hearn can offer more money, um, then why not? Why not? So I do wonder, now Eddie Hearn has seen the offer um, and he knows what both parties are getting, if he just chucks a cheeky £100,000 onto both, I mean, surely it's Billy Joe Saunders' decision, right? Not Frank. Um, interesting. But obviously the first offer has been turned down, as expected. I mean, fingers crossed this fight can be made. It is a unification. It will be a great fight. I've said this so many times, but there's nothing better than British dust-ups. Nothing for me. 
Um, I don't know how big a fight it is. They might have to stack the card on this one. I mean, could that sell out the O2 Arena? Could it? Possibly, I, I guess. Um, I guess it will definitely do the Echo Arena in Liverpool, which is a lot smaller, but I don't think Billy Joe Saunders would travel up there. I mean, he might, but I think he'd prefer it to be in the south of England. So that's the latest. Joe Gallagher has um, declined the first offer. When I first saw this interview on Sky Sports, I was like, why is Joe Gallagher declining offers? I actually didn't know he was a manager and trainer. I thought he was just a trainer. Um, but I've just been told by a lot of people on social media, thank you guys, that he's also the manager of these guys. I mean, he's doing all right, isn't he? Fucking hell. I mean, how many fighters have they got up there? Crawler, uh, Liam Smith, Callum Smith. Who else is decent in that stable? Uh, Butler. Um, can't think of who else he's got. But I mean, ooh, earning decent money and he's getting paid as a trainer and a manager. Or maybe he's got some sort of deal. Not bad, Joe. Not bad at all. Peace.